They came from the darkness like thieves in the night. They robbed us of our treasure as they stole your precious life. An arsenal of viciousness from deep within their hearts. Day by day, bit by bit, they took your life apart. How are you to defend yourself or take back the life they stole? For you possess no weapons in the repository of your soul. As they took your joy and a peace of mind and all your precious things, I wonder if these thieves did know they'd give you angel wings. May you rest in peace and may others see what all your loved ones know. For they stole from all when they robbed this earth of your kind and gentle soul. That is a story about Brandon Chris Schwartzwood. He uh, committed suicide on December 12th, the year 2000, because of being bullied in school. Um, it's happening at an alarming rate, and something needs to be done about it. Um, I think our children need more options when it comes to being able to talk to somebody about bullying. We need to have programs put in, into effect. Um, just like, like his mother, she started a website about um, school bullying in Oklahoma. They call her the bully police now. She dedicates her whole life to to her son and, and, and is very active about it. Um, they say that one in five people have experienced some kind of high school or grade school bullying. Um, there's just these are just some of the many faces. They range in age from seven to, to 17. These kids are getting teased on the school bus. They're getting picked on in the, in, the, in the rooms because they're too big or they don't have good enough clothes. Something needs to be done. And I think it's up to us parents to be the ones to stand up and say, hey, we need to stick together. We need to do something. We have to figure out what we can do as a community. Whether it be go into your public school system, talk to the principals, talk to your children, you know, on a daily basis. Make sure you are actively involved in their lives. That can also help. And it's just, it's really sad that the media actually, they won't cover these types of victims. But yet they'll cover stories about major shootings in our schools. This is happening on a daily basis. And it's very sad and something needs to be done about it. But oftentimes, good does come out of bad situations and stories. As in the case here with Andy. Um, he, he's out of Cleveland, from what I understand, because I got this from Cleveland.com. He was bullied day after day, tortured on the school bus. This kid was on the honors list. He, he was very smart, a math is. And he just got picked on so much, he finally just couldn't take it. And his, his father knew. But they're, they're, what was he to do, you know? A lot of these kids, they, they hide the stuff inside, you know? They don't want to tell the parents. They don't want to feel like, you know, their mom's going to get somebody in trouble. No, they, you have to speak up. You have to tell somebody. It's really sad because now, this is a picture of one of the kids that actually bullied him. He now, three months after the day that Andy, he stepped out in front of a bus to commit suicide. But three months after the day, one of the uh, kids that actually bullied him every day come forward. He went to the guy, to his father's house, apologized because he couldn't live with the guilt. And now, they have teamed together and they joined, let me get the website correct, it's helpprevetsuicide.org. They teamed up with the Suicide Prevention Alliance together and now work together to help fight bullying and or bullicide as it's now known. But like I say, it, it, it's really up to us as parents. We, we need to be active in our community, be active with our children. You know, write your local congressman. Put make make bullying a crime. If adults go out and beat up somebody, we go to jail. But yet every day our kids go to school and they have to put up with name calling and just being picked on. And it's not fair. And I think we need to stand up and do something. I'm gonna leave you with this quote. 
When we don't acknowledge bullying as a real crime, we dismiss the very real injuries that are inflicted upon it, upon its victims. Although the psychological injuries and the extent can be varied, they are real injuries. Sometimes the symptoms are internalized and sometimes they are externalized, sometimes both. But in either cases, bullying kills. In both cases, children die. It's time we take back the lives of our children. Thank you.